A wonderful morning to viewers across the world. It's Ayo Adams on the sports segment of the weekend show. Um, I should be just, you know, finished up our segments with Mili Morfire, a um, brilliant artist. But well, it's Children's Day and Happy Children's Day to all the kids around the world, to my nieces and nephews at home. Happy Children's Day. Well, let's go straight into it. It's football season. This football season is almost coming to an end and it's been a magnificent, thrilling and exciting season across the top um, leagues across football. The Premier League um, has had its own champion, which is Manchester City. Same thing with the Spanish La Liga with Barcelona. Uh, today, it's going right down to the wire and the Bundesliga, where they will be um, fighting for who takes the title home this season or will Dortmund end Bayern's dominance across other globes too in the Italian Serie and Napoli have also clinched their title. But let's get to the first um, headline of the day and we'll talk about our Flying Eagles. We must, we just can't not um, but give them their praises as the Flying Eagles of, of, of Nigeria at the ongoing um, FIFA World Cup, under 20 FIFA World Cup in Argentina, have now qualified into the, ra into the round of 16 to the knockout stages after winning their opening two games um, against Domin Dominican Republic and um, Italy. Um, the Flying Eagles won their first game, coming back from a goal deficit, two goals to one, before winning their second game um, to, uh, two, two nil on the day against Italy. Um, Fago Lawal and Jude Sunday, one of the brightest talents in the new um, Flying Eagles team, where they once got Nigeria the goals. Well, they'll be playing their final game of the group stages against Brazil today in the same group. Regardless, the, the Flying Eagles will finish as group leaders, while President... Um, the, the president of the NFF, uh, Kusao, and Minister of Sports, Sunday Darius, urged the Flying Eagles to keep their winning mentality up there and try as much as possible to win their next game against um, Brazil, just to, to keep the winning mentality going. I mean, we must give credit to these boys. They, came, they won the bronze medal at the, at the just concluded AFCON, and now they are the FIFA World Cup, and they have taken their group by storm, winning their opening two matches. We'll now move on to come back home and move to beach soccer Nigeria. Um, the Nigerian Beach Soccer League will kick off its phase two today in Kaduna City at the Moritala Mohamed Square. Um, the games will start by 9 a.m. The Nigerian Beach Soccer League is kicking off its phase two. Well, phase one happened um, in Kebi a couple of uh, months ago. The fixtures for this tournament will start today as Kada BSC um, will be taking on Namako BSC. Kebi United BSC will be taking on Smart City UFC while Ebon BSC will be taking on Kebi BSC, that's for match day four. Well, it's match day four seemingly because match day one to three was split in, this, in the first phase. Now this is the second phase. And on match day five, on match day five, they will have Kada BSC playing Smart City BSC. Namako BSC will be playing Ebon BSC by 4 p.m. Kebi United BSC will be playing Kebi BSC by 5 p.m. And on the final day, that's a Monday, March day 6, 29th, we'll have Smart City playing Kebi BSC. Namako will be playing Kebi United BSC, while Kada BSC will be playing Ebon BSC. Well, if you're in Kaduna, you love of beach soccer, you have to go to the Moritala Mohamed Square Stadium to go see the second phase of the Nigerian Beach Soccer League happening in Kaduna, the Moritala Mohamed Square. We'll move on, let's come back to the Premier League where the relegation, as I mentioned earlier, the top four battle has been concluded. Manchester City are named champions, Arsenal is in second, Newcastle in third, and Manchester United got finally sealed their Champions League sport, defeating Chelsea um, during the midweek. But now there's the relegation battle that is now upon us in the Premier League. As a number of teams have been in the relegation battle for a couple of months, especially um, the relegated team already, which is Southampton, have now gone to the has now gone into, um, into the next round. Southampton have not been relegated into the championship, but we have some teams who the final fixtures will go down to the wire. We have Everton, we have Leeds United, we have Leicester City. They are all in the relegation battle, and now their fate is not in their hands as, they are, as if they win their game, it will also require for other teams to win their matches too. Leeds United have 31 points. Leicester City have 30 points, Everton has 33 points, while relegated Southampton have 24 points. Remember that Leicester City were once champions of the Premier League. How the how time changes um, in football and for the Foxes. Well, the final matches between these both parties will be um, Everton will be taking on Bournemouth at home at the Goodison Park, while um, Tottenham will be playing Leeds at Ellen Road, and Newcastle will be taking on um, Leicester City, while you know, Leicester City also has another game against West Ham at home. We'll wait to see how those matches pan out for the relegation battle players. Um, the Nigerian Wilfred Indidi and Kelechi Yanacho are part of the Leicester City team that might see relegation. Same goes for 
um, Alex Ruby is also in Everton if they do not survive. Well, that's for the relegation battle in the Premier League. Let's now move to Germany. We are in the Bayern, in the German Bundesliga. It's down to the wire on the final. For the first time in 11 years, Bayern Munich might not win the Bundesliga title as Dortmund as Dortmund has now. They are now a point ahead of Bayern Munich on, on the table of the final match. If Dortmund win their final match they, on Saturday against Mainz, it will be the first time in 11 years that a team will be winning the, the Bundesliga title aside from um, Bayern Munich. Bayern, the last time Dortmund won this championship was in the 2011-2012 season while Jürgen Klopp was still their coach. And after then, it has been a Bayern Munich dominant, winning 10 straight titles at the German helm of affairs. Will they be able to drop that button? We'll wait to see. Will Dortmund, for the very first time in 11 years, take the championship away from the Bavarians? Well, we'll wait to see at the end of uh, the match this today. If you're a lover of the Bundesliga, kindly go to our comment section on Instagram, IG, and Twitter and let us know who you think will win the Bundesliga title. Are you hoping for Dortmund? Are you rooting for Marco Reus? Well, we'll wait to see how that pans out. Well, let's go back to La Liga as when the um, Valencia played Real Madrid um, a couple of a couple of days ago in the Spanish La Liga, match day 36, and Vinicius Jr. was subjected to racist, uh, racist uh, slurs and abuse at the Mestalla. During the game, there was an altercation that happened during the game between Vinicius and a couple of Valencia players. Vinicius was now seen handed a red card. Well, the, late, the matter was later, trans was later translated into another issue. When the, when the case was appealed, it was later found out that the VAR referees that were you know, in the VAR room checking and giving the on-field referee decisions did not give him a clear sight of the incident that occurred. A certain player had already strong-harmed Vinicius Jr. before he retaliated. The, Spanish, the Royal Spanish Federation has now suspended and sacked six VAR referees for not giving the clear images or not giving the direct images to um, the, the on-field referee, which would have helped him mitigate the case properly. Vinicius Jr. Um, did not play the following game as the, the racist law and the racist, and the racist chance against him really got into his head and he was really emotional on that day after even being sent off. A lot of players across the world showed solidarity for him and La Liga has also put out a st press statement um, against Valencia and against racism across board. But it's also notable to know across board that you know, racism in football is not tolerated at any day, at any time. Well, moving on finally to tennis, we'll now go to the Laurent Garros as the second Grand Slam, second Grand Slam championship of the, of the tennis season will commence in a couple of days' time. The Australian Open ended with Novak Djokovic clinching another um, hardcore title. Well, the king of clay, Rafa Nadal, pulled out from the Roland Garros last week. But we'll be seeing more top seeds and in the Roland Garros trying to take the championship. It'll be the first time since 1998 that we'll not see a player such as Roger Federer or Rafa Nadal at the French Open. It's, 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 it's just a sad sight to see that the King of Clay would not be able to you know, play the tournament which he is known for. Well, some of the top seeds who are going to be playing in this tournament, um, uh, the Roland Garros is, is Carlos Alcaraz, Daniel Medvedev, um, we have Novak Djokovic and Kaspar Ruud. Um, still moving on, we have other top seeds who are still going to be playing in this tournament from the, from the men's seed. We have the St Stefano Tsitsipas, um, Holger Runa, um, Andre Rublev and Yannick Sena. I mean, it's going to be magnificent for these guys. Who is going to take home the Roland Garros trophy? Well, wait to see. Well, moving on to the WTA women also, we also have Iga Swiatek and Arena Sabalenka, Jessica Pegula, Elena Rabakina, also part of the top seeds who are um, at the Roland Garros waiting to clinch another title. Or Carolina Garcia, Coco Goff, Ons Jabo, and Maria Sakari are also on the list of um, top athletes who are going to be contesting for the French Open tournament. Well, you know, that's all we have for you from the sports segment of the weekend show. But you know we did? We went to the streets to ask the fans from Onile Corner. Well, it's been a battle between two managers for ages, Pep Guardiola and Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho is now in the final of the Europa League. He'll be playing against, um, he'll be playing against West Ham in the Europa League. While Pep Guardiola will be playing Manchester City, will be playing Inter Milan on June 10 at the Champions League final. We went to the streets to ask the fans, who... In, in, in both managers, Pep Guardiola, the Spaniard, and the Portuguese, Jose Mourinho, who has been the greatest, or who is the greatest so far? This is what he had to say. My name is Ayo Adams. I'll be seeing you same time next week. Bye-bye for now.